interrupt our program to bring you this important message. My videos are inverted. So what that means is basically the way you guys see me is not the way I see it. Just to give you guys a heads up, there are some people who do wear wraps. I'm not one of those people. Wraps are cool, I guess, if you like them. I don't really like them. I don't want anyone to mistake my shoes as wraps. A lot of my videos are flipped, but I just like the way that looks when I edit it. What's up, Nani gang? It's your girl, Nani. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, and y'all already know what to do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in, and of course, on your way out. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Nani. What is up? And I guess it's welcome to 2023, even though we are in the middle of February. Welcoming ourselves into 2023 means an updated sneaker collection. I think the last time I did a sneaker collection maybe was in 2020. I don't know. Since then, as you guys can see, my collection has grown drastically. Today, we are just going to be doing an update on my closet. If you see repeated shoes from like my last collection, I do apologize because I really don't remember what I showed you guys. It's been a really, really long time. As you guys can see, I have many of them out the box already. That was for thumbnail purposes. Hope that if y'all seen it and y'all like, oh, she got some heat, I wanna watch her video, y'all watch my video. My last video, I noticed a lot of you guys requested me say the name of the sneaker. I'm going to upload the name of the shoe, like I'll do a pop up something of the name of the shoe. My first pair of shoes, I was looking for these shoes for the longest. These are called Wild Thing 4s. You can see, this is what they look like. They're pretty beat up. The first day I got them, I decided to wear them to a haunted house, which was the dumbest thing I ever did, but I still got the shoe. The win is a win. These are one of my favorite shoes, only because one, the movie, The Wild Thing, where the wild things are, I really, really love that movie. The coloring of them, I love the brown then the lighter brown and if you can see the fur on it i really like that also just the coloring details on them they look just my next pair of shoes are jordan fours i won these in a raffle i was really really happy that i won these jordan fours are really starting to become some of my favorite shoes and i just like the way they feel on my feet they're super comfortable they don't feel too big and they don't look really big on my feet i really really don't like shoes that look extra long and extra brick i just hate that look on my foot these are them i got these fours right here when i seen these i really really like the red and the black concept i don't know like i said fours are just becoming one of my favorite shoes they're easy to put together with an outfit one also, like fours are really easy to get. Sneaker stores and sneaker apps, only because I feel like they make a lot of them, which sometimes they don't make a lot of the shoe. I don't really understand why, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. I got my shoe, so I really don't care that, so. <laughs> the next shoe I got is another four. These ones are gray and white. I got these from a Foot Locker raffle, I think. Most of my shoes I win at either Foot Locker in my town or I have to go to the Foot Locker our town over. Most of the shoes that I really want, I don't have to get resale. I usually win them on the raffles. But if by chance I don't win them on a raffle, I just never get them because I don't really want to pay resale for them unless I absolutely am like fiending for them. I'm gonna pull these forward. Right here, as you guys can see, these are denim ones. Yes, and I really, really love these so much. These are jean material with the gold hoop ring kind of vibe. Usually the men, like on men's shoes, they get these. They never really put them on women's shoes, at least I've never seen them. We women or youth never get like the fancy boxes or we never get like the fancy tags. So I was really happy to see this on there. And these came in a red box which like I said, we never get that kind of stuff. So I was really, really, really happy when I opened the box and seen them. These are another pair of ones. These ones I had for a very long time, so they do look kind of beat up, as you guys can see like, I don't know, actually. But I've had these for maybe like two, three years now, four years now. they are like one of the very first pair of ones that I got. But I have these ones, these in 2017, I think. No, 2018. 2018 I bought these. I found them just sitting at the mall. I was super happy and I've had them ever since. I haven't worn them in years, but I really, really love these shoes. So that's why they're still in my closet. They're kind of like a staple in my closet. Moving on, I bought these at a resale store also. These are my only pair of 14s that I do have. I really, really love the color blue and I like how the white kind of corresponds with it. As you can see, these are kind of like one of my beaters because I have scuffs all right here. I don't really get the chance to wear my shoes a lot because 
I don't wear them when I go to work. I'm afraid that people are gonna step on them and I hate when people step on my shoes. I do go out, like, when I get really, really dressed up, I kind of tend to wear the same pair because I just am comfortable with them. I have to really start stepping off in my comfort zone and, you know, all that good stuff. These are a pair of nines that I have. I've had these for a while, as you can tell. These are like done for real. I've had these for maybe like two years, I think. I stopped wearing them because like I said, they're beat up, they need to be cleaned. These are really my only pair of nines. There was a pair of nines that came out at the end of last year. They were gray, red, and white, and I really want those, but I haven't found them yet. I really don't want to pay too much over retail. I don't know if I'm gonna get them or when I'm gonna get them, but I guess we'll see. I think these are my 12s, my pretty pink 12s, I believe. Yes, they are. These are my pink 12s. When these first came out when I was younger, I didn't have the money for them. I'm older, I got my own money, so, and I wanna spend ridiculous money on my shoes, I'm able to. These are one of my favorite shoes too. I haven't worn those in a while, but I wear all my shoes, I'm gonna tell you that. For people who don't wear all their shoes, you guys should really start wearing your shoes. Next, I have this shoe sitting out because the other one's in the box. I had a pair when I was in, I think like ninth or 10th grade. I ended up getting another pair. The only thing about this pair is the girl that I had got the shoe from, she had it for so long and I don't think she wore it because I can see that the paint is chipping. You can tell that it's a very, very old shoe. So I wore this since I got it from her. Maybe I wore these one time and they've been sitting in my closet since because I just love them so much and they remind me of my childhood. I really don't wear them that much, but I'm not gonna give them away or throw them away because I really, really love them. And these are my triple pink dumps. As you guys can see, the reason I got them was because they are pink. These are my very first pair of dunks. I've never had a pair of dunks. These are my only dunks I have. The first time I wore these were Valentine's Day. I got them maybe like a couple days ago. Super excited about these. So yes, these are my first and only pair of dunks. I really am not a dunk girl. I feel like dunks make your feet look extra long. That's what I was afraid of, but these don't even look long. I got them for Valentine's Day. Next two shoes I got, you guys probably already know about the box. There are a pair of Air Forces. I have not worn them yet. Honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna wear them. Actually, I wear my Air Forces maybe three or four times. Apparently, you're only supposed to wear them twice. You keep your shoes clean, you can wear them as many times as you want. You never know when you just need a fresh pair of Air Forces. Next, I'll show you guys my threes. I actually never had a pair of threes until these ones right here. I got these in the summertime of 2022. These are actually really good shoes. The thing I don't like about them, when I walk, I don't know if it's just my shoe itself or if it's just a three in general. The shoe kind of like, Squeaks. It don't squeak and make that like inflated sound. Apparently it's from the bubble in the shoe, but I don't know. I got these uh, paint on them. The guys said at the store were like, they manufactured them for youth sizes was really bad, but I still got them. I do care, but like no one's gonna notice when I walk about the paint. So it really didn't matter to me, if that makes sense. Moving on, we're gonna pull some boxes from back here. My first pair. Of 11, I'm gonna show you guys are these Bread 11s, and I really, really wanted these, but I just couldn't find anyone to give me a decent price on them. I only seen someone on Facebook post them, they weren't for a bad price. The only thing is with this one, 11s, I usually typically try to get a four and a half. 11s on my feet run kind of big. This is a five, and it's a little big, but not too big. They're one of my more favorite shoes. Really wanted these for a long time. I actually want the cool gray 11s, the highs. These are my emerald 11s. As you guys can see, these are kind of busted. I really, I don't know if you can really see the emerald, but I really got these because my birthstone is emerald. I haven't worn them since I bought them, really. When I first bought them, I wore them so much. As you guys can see, the bottoms are yellowing out. These, I believe, are my cherry 11s that I just got. I actually haven't worn these yet, as you can see. But I did lace them up. Trying to hold off so hard on uh, waiting till summertime to wear these. My thing is, if I wait till summer to, you know, put that shit on, then nobody really gonna have that shit on, you know? I really wanted them because I like the red and the white colorway. With the soles being so freshly clear, it also looks extra better. But yeah, sometimes I have to wait outside for sneakers if I really want them, and I don't mind. All right? These ones, I believe, are my Legend Blue Low 11s. These ones are still kind of clean, decent. They're not like super, super fresh. 
But as you can, like I keep telling guys, I wear my shoes so I expect them to be kind of a little worn out. But yeah, these are my low 11. I really love these shoes too. When the highs came out, I really wanted them. But like I said, this time I couldn't afford them. The lows came out, I had to grab them. I hope they come out with the highs again, but who knows. My next Lululemon, these are the high legend blues that I got. I only got them really just to sit in my closet because I don't wear them. You guys can see the bottom is like yellowing. There's still a little bit of blue, but when I bought them, they were used. So that's why it's like, I expected that. I do like to put in the bottom, yes. I'm gonna start with the first shoe on the top, which are my lost and found Chicago Jordan 1s. I was super happy when I got these. I wanted to make everybody peanut butter and jealous, so you know, I had to post them. This is what these look like. I think I wore these maybe twice since I got them. I love these shoes. I really rarely have shoes that I have not wore. I try to wear all my sneakers. You know, I don't get to wear like all of them a lot. I wanna make sure that every pair feels the same kind of love. Next pair of shoes I got are fives. I don't really like fives that much because they're very chunky at the top. They do really look good on my feet, so I buy them. I did have another pair of fives I just gave away. I bought them and, I, and then I realized I really didn't like them. As you guys can see, my shoes, they kind of look good, but then again, it's like I can tell you wore them, which that's the effect I'm going for, but still I try to keep my shoes as clean as possible. I also do this with the lace lock because I don't really like it in the middle. Next are another pair of fives. I think these are my all red fives. Yes, I love, love, love these fives. One, just because of the color. Two, I don't know if you can see see that good but the material on it is just amazing like I said I put the lace lock on the side so I don't like it in the middle Other than that these are so cool. just wore these the other day I pull these out every once in a while when it's really sunny outside you wear them and the Sun hits it like just right they look so clean on my feet I think these are my gray 11 that are disgusting <laughs> but I still keep in my closet because I do really like the gray coloring of the 11 really want the highs but since I don't have the highs, I'm gonna have to keep my lows until I'm able to get the highs. Yeah, these are really nasty. As you can see, these are all yellow. When I first got these, I wore them so much, and I really didn't take care of my shoes that much at the time. I do have these in my collection. First pair of shoes are Jordan 6s. Only thing I really don't like about these, ones look really, really big. But I really like the light pink right here. And then I love the gold hoops right here. When I step out in these shoes, I don't really see a lot of people wearing them. I have these. I also have, these are my navy blue sixes. So I also have these. These are our newer pair of shoes that I have in my closet. Maybe wore these like twice, I think. I don't know. I really, really love sixes now also. These are my patent bread ones. I wore these a decent amount of time too, maybe like five, six times. I really love these shoes, one, because I, like I said, Youth shoes don't really get a lot of these. So I was really happy when I opened the box and I seen this pendant on my shoe. When I pull these out, I get so many compliments and I love it. So yeah, so I really, really like these. I have another pair of ones. Let's see what these are. They're my court purple ones. I got these a couple years ago. I want to say I got these in 2021, I think. When I pull them out and wear them, people are so peanut butter and jealous. I actually never released in my city, so I ordered them actually off of StockX. And yeah. Now we are finally at our last row of boxes, and the first pair we are going to start off with are a pair that I have not wore yet. This pair is pretty brand new. These are my blue shoes. At first when I seen these, I really didn't like them because I thought they looked really weird. Then I walked into Jimmy Jazz one day and I seen them sitting, and I was like, actually they kind of look good. So I was like, you know, I want them. Yeah, that's how we ended up here. Yes, I have those ones. I have these are a pair of sixes. I love, love, love these. They remind me of my Carmine's except for they're blue, but of course they would because they're both sixes. After I wore my Carmine's out and these came out, these were the next shoe that I wore almost all the time. That's why they're pretty dirty at the bottom. They're still kind of clean though. Like when I throw them on, people be like, oh, your shoes are clean. I'm like, thank you, even though they're not really clean, but you say they're clean, so I can say clean. I think my last two pair of shoes are sixes. Wait, I have one more actually. I'm like, my universe. First, I think they're my university blue. Yeah, university blue sixes. I had these for a couple years. 2018, I got these for Valentine's Day. As you can see, they're kind of worn because when I first got them, I wore them all the time. They did get clean. The fabric of the shoe attracts a lot of dust. I don't know if you can tell the fabric of the shoe by the camera, but yeah. I don't know the name I'm looking for. I just don't want to say it and it's wrong. Moving on. And these are my Carmine sixes. As you guys can see, they don't look probably disgusting on camera, but in person, they are 
really like worn out. I don't think I'll ever give them away no matter how long I've had them. Probably stay in my shoe collection for a long time until I can not wear it anymore. Easy 700s. These are really like my beater shoes to be honest. I wear these when I, when I want to be comfortable. So taking out the garbage, work, really do just like regular day activities. I actually found these sitting in Foot Locker. So they're probably not a very popular brand of Yeezys. That is all my shoes. This video was probably pretty, pretty long. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not on me. I promise it's not on me because there's a man behind the camera that just be doing it. He do it all the time. I also appreciate and love him. He's kind of changed my perspective on the sneaker game, how I should take care of my sneakers. When you're passionate about something, you really enjoy something, you want to take good care of it. You want to make sure it's presentable. Make sure that you're doing all the right things when it comes to these because those are something that you put on. You guys so so much for tuning into my updated sneaker collection towards the end of the video so if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button thank you guys so so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in my next video bye